Today I am going to make avakai mango pickle. This is a great uh, delicacy. It has to be made in, uh, in only summer and it can be preserved for a year. Now this is how we start off. I brought some pieces of cut pieces of mango. The essential thing is only those fellows in the market can cut it. The kernel is still intact and so is the skin. Okay, what I have done is I am soaking it in salt water so that it will get washed because I got it cut outside and I am not very sure they are clean about it. So I soak it in, so this is salt water for about half an hour to wash it and then I am going to dry it out under a fan so that there won't be too much of moisture. Now I have strained those mango pieces and have let them to dry on a piece of cloth, a clean cloth under which there is a plastic. It's indoors and there is a fan blowing on top of it. Okay, in the meanwhile, I remove all the pieces that I suspect are maybe ripe or something like that and inside kernel sometimes they come across. If anything is suspect or defective, I take it and throw it out. Okay, I'll be leaving this for about four to six hours, uh, waiting for the water on the cloth to dry up. Now the next thing is I've taken about half a liter of oil and brought it to a boil. As you can see, it's smoking, and I have turned off the flame at this stage. Now what I'll be doing is this is only small quantity of the oil that will be finally used but you need to cool it so I add yellow mustard seeds can you see this this is yellow mustard seeds I just add a little and see if you add suddenly it will boil over ok this is about 200 grams or this I am adding about 100 grams add it very slowly so that it won't boil over This is with the flame turned off. If the flame was on, it would have definitely boiled over. This oil will be fully cooled and used in the end of making the pickle. Now I am ready with the ingredients. Now I am going to mix the next step is to mix the masala for the pickle. Tentatively, I will be mixing small quantities and then going ahead so that I won't be left over with anything. I found I have 6 kgs of uh, cut mangoes. Now I am starting with half kg of powdered black mustard seeds. You can get powdered one yourself or you ground grind it yourself. Incidentally, the name Avakai derives its name from this seed which is in Telugu called Avalu. Okay, so Avalu from that you get Avakai. This is half a kg of Avalu ground into a fine powder. To this I add another half kg of red chili powder. This is a special chili powder that you get for pickles, it's not the very hot variety. And then to this I add another half kg of plain salt, I prefer not non-iodized salt. And then into this I add one and a half liters of oil. Groundnut oil is what I prefer. Some people prefer sesame oil and some others prefer some other oil it makes a difference in the final taste
Now we'll be mixing mixing this into a kind of a paste. Okay. Now this is how the masala looks finally. I had to shift it into a bigger vessel because that one was not enough. And I made some correction. For one and a half liters of oil, I have used one kg of chili powder, one kg of salt and one kg of mustard powder. Okay, so when I mix it, it is like this. Okay, it's a little like a milk paste. What I do is, and uh, here I have got this bottle ready. It's a food grade bottle. And here are the mangoes that have been cut and dried, air dried. I take, I have to use my hand necessarily. I take a small quantity like that. And then I take some, put it in there. Then mix it thoroughly. So that every part of the mango is dipped into it. And then you collect the mango pieces, <coughs> them in the bottom, lay at the bottom. As you can see the mango is coated with the masala fudi. You go on doing this for the entire batch. There, now I've got the whole thing stacked in this bottle, layer and layer, filled it up from top to bottom. This is about 10 kgs of it. Now, after I finished the mix and all that, I take that oil, remember, we had boiled it with mustard seeds, yellow mustard seeds, I pour it into it. Along with the mustard seeds. I will empty that also and I add about for about 10 kgs I add about 2 liters of water this is uh, mineral water I will mix it and leave it for about 10 days with constant stirring every 2-3 days then it will get pickled so there is your pickle you wait for 10 days and I will let you know how it is it's been now 10 days since I first pickled it. It's complete the way of pickling process. Uh, every three days I have taken it out into a bigger vessel and stirred it. There will be a layer of oil on top when it's finally pickled. This is how it looks. Okay. You have to take it out into smaller containers and use it from time to time so that you don't frequently open this bottle. The way to eat it is you mix it with rice and this is how it looks okay this is rice mixed in pickle it's the most priced dish that i have ever known so eat <laughs>